Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So if you cast your mind back a couple of weeks ago, we had a list of fixes that was put out by Battlestate Games. And they said, these are things that we want to fix in up and coming hot fixes. And the cynic in me thought we we're gonna be waiting weeks and weeks, maybe months for some of these fixes. But in fact, it was a little over a week, I think. And the fixes that they'd listed were all applied to the game. For better or worse, because some of them broke a few other things, but they soon fixed that. So they've put out another list of fixes that will be up and coming in hot fixes fixes no data as for when these will come but if it's anything like the last one we could expect this within the next couple of weeks at least so i'm going to quickly go through the list with you so first off they've reworked and improved the player group system there is going to be a new version of dlss there's improvements to oculus audio reduced the performance impact of the binaural sound system improved sound positioning on all locations fixed the majority of the causes of invisible players in raids reverted the mechanics of quest reward skill calculation as it was before patch 0.13. Fixed the fence reputation calculation for killing Sorochi and his guard. Various fixes for icons and visibility of loot, ammo, attachments in the trading and stash interfaces. Various fixes for weapons, animations, frozen hands after using medicine. Fixed the possibility of Sorochi still attacking players even with an activated transmitter. So there's two fixes there that really stand out for me. First of all, it's the Oculus Audio. We all know that they are working on sound. They have put fixes out for it, but it's still very much broken it doesn't work as intended it can be very difficult to pinpoint just where people are it works sometimes but more often than not it doesn't so hopefully that fix will improve things even further the next one is fix the majority of causes of invisible players in raids so what they're saying is they're going to fix more of the causes but not all of the causes so this is still going to be an ongoing thing now there was a fix the other week which has lessened the impact of invisible players but there's still all the reports of it happening and there's still going to be reports after the next hotfix by the looks of it but they are working on it so i will give them that and then the next one is reverted the mechanics of quest rewards reward skill calculation so basically if you're working through a quest that is going to give you a skill reward it's going to increase one of your skills you might want to hold off handing that in just now because the skill reward isn't calculated correctly so they're going to revert it back to what it was in patch 12 so you will get the correct amount of skill for completing that quest so you might want to hold off handing them in just yet like I say, we've no date for these hot fixes, but if we go by the um, timeline of the last lot of hot fixes, it was just over a week. So we could maybe expect these fixes to be added into the game sometime within the next week, maybe a little bit longer. So yeah, I wouldn't. Ho I would hold off handing those in. But those are the list of fixes. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.